As crazy as this sounds, these rocks aren't glued, tied, or supported in any way. See? But how could structures like this, this, and this be possible? Let's find out. Meet Michael. My name is Michael Grab, and I have been balancing rocks for 12 years. It all started when Michael was spending time by the river. I usually come down to the creek on hot summer days to relax. And one time I was hanging out with a friend and we were having a psychedelic experience and just started balancing rocks by accident. He tried to create his first stone balance with some rocks that he found by the river. And he realized it wasn't so easy. But with a little bit of persistence, he made his first stone balance. In order to do it, you have to focus on these very tiny vibrations. To stay focused on those vibrations is like purely focused on now. You tap into the animal mind or like a flow state. In the beginning, his stone balances were small and simple. But after years of practice, they became pretty impressive. He makes them with different rocks in different countries all around the world. And some even made their way into high-end art installations. Michael, it looks amazing, but what are you using to hold it together? Just balance. Gravity is the only glue. And while some may find this hard to believe, it's true. Michael only uses gravity. Here's how he does it. First, he finds a stable rock to use as a base. Then, he looks for rocks with special shapes and surfaces. Then, he uses the weight of his rocks to stabilize his balance as he builds up. Once I get a sequence of rocks selected, I basically just start working with it and make really tiny micro adjustments until I feel that very thin thread of balance go through the rocks. I call that the zero point. It's when the rocks stop and I intuitively know that they're balanced. But here's something even more interesting. Michael removes every stone balance that he's ever built. I prefer to remove my work to leave the space looking the same way I found it. This way, he minimizes his footprint. But it begs the question, why build them in the first place? It's a way to get out in nature and become part of nature through the creative process. Michael's not stacking rocks, he's making art. Art that blends creativity with nature in a way that the whole world needs to see. And let's face it, his structures are pretty awesome. 